Hi, I'm Anjali Saraugi. I'm a long distance runner, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm a mother. The person who really motivated me to run was my daughter. When I was around 41 years of age and I was discussing with my daughter how I really want to take part in a half marathon, she totally encouraged me and said, Mom, what's the worst that can happen? You, you won't finish, just leave the race. But at least you know you tried. And that was a huge motivating uh, factor for me. As a child, I've always loved Mumbai and there is something so beautiful and warm about this entire race. The route is somehow, I just love every moment uh, of that race and when I crossed that finish line, I didn't know that I was coming overall second, that didn't matter. My timing didn't matter to me, what mattered to me is that I had run Mumbai full marathon and that to me was a defining moment. That made me feel that yes, I have accomplished something. It gave me immense satisfaction and pride in the fact that yes, I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm alive and I can do this and I want to keep doing this. So I think that is the moment that really made me realize that yes, I'm going beyond the finish line because I wanted to run more. I wanted to run the comrades. I wanted to run uh, more races and I wanted to become better and better. It was extremely painful. Um, I thought I'm going to die. Every bone in my body, every joint in my body was breaking. Along with the pain, there was a lot of exhilaration and a great sense of satisfaction and achievement because the camaraderie that Comrades is so famous for is very infectious. And once you run the Comrades, you're addicted to running for life, of course. Comrades, I really trained very, very hard. In fact, I would go out of Calcutta to do uh, all my long runs. I went to Silvasa twice. I went to uh, Bangalore also. So that was one race that I gave my all to and it gave me back multifold. People say miracles are composed of 99% hard work, but that 1% of luck at times can be really strong. I uh, got to know about this 100k race in the last week of July. That's when I, uh, I applied and my application was accepted and that's when I started training for the 100k race. I trained for a week and then I got dengue fever on 1st of August. But then again I feel that uh, it was my willpower, my determination and the fact that I did not want to give up. So maybe my body was physically broken but if your mind is strong, you can conquer anything. Even for a trained athlete, after 60-70k, the body will break. It's the mind that takes them across. So the same theory probably worked for me from the start. And the fact that I was representing my country was such a high and such a proud moment for me that I don't think uh, uh, disease, small obstacles would come in my way. So uh, for ultra races especially, one has to study the route profile and the climate. So I have to train myself to run at all hours of the day. I have to run uh, at say 12 in the afternoon, 1 in the afternoon. So uh, to acclimatize to race conditions is very important. What next in the future is I'm going to fix that time. Whatever time I do now will not be my best time. I am not going to rest till I know I have given my best. And someday I am going to do a sub 3. I don't know if I will but I can try and I can tell myself I will. So if I do that long enough, I am sure I will do it. The one message that I would like to give is uh, never limit yourself, never give up. Never think this is it. You always have more to give. And. Uh, Beyond the line of fear lies victory. 
so don't hide don't let your fears uh, kill your dreams don't let uh, pigments of your imagination that you're not good enough like i did i thought i was fat and i could not run and i uh, prevented myself from becoming the best version of myself don't do that to yourself don't let your fear kill your dreams because failure won't